What's going on devs? Welcome back to App Dev Channel. So in today's episode, we are gonna create this amazing hover effect on social media buttons. As you can see on your screen, we hover over them and they do two things. They decrease a little bit and they have this nice hover effect over them, okay? I think it's a nice project for you to add to your portfolio or to website, okay? If you want to show them that you have presence on social media. Hey there! If you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Alright devs, and now let's start really from the beginning. We have this folder that is nothing inside of it. Let's create our two files, our index for the markup and also styles.css, all right? That's it for now, so let's create our boilerplate. It's quite simple, okay? We have it here. Let's come down to the title. And for the title, let's grab something like the name of the project, okay? And here is gonna be amazing, if I can type, amazing hover effect, okay? Amazing hover effect on social media. And under this one, we're gonna have a link connecting our markup to our CSS, okay? You can't forget that. All right, and the last thing in the head tag is gonna be this CDN link, okay? To watch awesome, because we're gonna be using some social icons front end, okay? So let's get started. Alright, let's create our markup. Our markup is going to be quite simple. Let's have our main container, social media. And inside this one, we're going to have a link. And inside this link, we're going to have icons, okay? We're going to be using the class coming from Font Awesome, okay? Let's just duplicate this four more time and make a couple of changes, okay? The first one here is going to be the Facebook. Alright. And then... Twitter and the next one here let's say Instagram all right one more here is gonna be YouTube and then LinkedIn okay and now let me show you side by side okay that's the best way of doing we're gonna be code on the right and you're gonna see the results in real time on the left let me give it some more space here and make it a little bigger so you can see it. Okay, and in the next step, let's use the CSS to give it some style. All right, we are in the realm of CSS where part of the magic happens, okay? So let's start with removing any margin and the padding, okay? Margin padding zero. We also want to here to give a height of 100 VH, okay? You divide the screen for 100 and we're gonna use that 100 all right and we want to put that content right in the middle so let's use display flex and let's bring it down okay uh, along the cross axis with align item center okay and now along the main axis just find content center and as you can see it's right in the middle all right one more thing, let's give some more space here and let's give a background color, all right? You feel free to choose the one you like the most. I'm gonna use this one, F-O-E-B-C-C. -C. We wanna also grab the social media links, okay, the ankle tag itself. The display here is gonna be inline block Let's increase the font size to 80 pixels, okay? As you can see, it's too big. Let me decrease the size here, all right? And the width, let's give it 150 pixels. Height, also 150, okay? Make it a square. For the line height here, let's say 100 pixels, all right? Text align center, put that right in the middle. And let's also apply some margin. So margin, 
0 top and bottom 60 pixels left and right let me give my space here okay and let's also apply some transition we're gonna be using that one when you hold over them okay position relative because you're gonna have some absolute on it and as you can see our icons are here but they are not beautiful okay so let's change the color and give them their original color okay for the facebook here it's gonna be 1877 f2 okay you can pause it here and copy and let's go to the next one okay the twitter f a twitter remember this one are the classes that coming from font awesome all right the color here is going to be 1DA1F2. All right. Let's move now to the Instagram color C32AA3. And now let's go to this one. This one is, is okay. It is the uh, YouTube. And the color here is going to be FF and then 000. All right. And let's move to the last one. LinkedIn. All right. And down here, the color. If you use another social media, of course, you can look online for the original colors, okay? And yeah, they're looking nice now. And now we want to create a element, a pseudo element, okay? The one that you're going to see when you hover over the icons okay so social media before and also social media ankle tag after okay let's start as always here with content you don't forget this one it's gonna be empty For the position here, we want that to be absolute, okay? Box sizing is gonna be border box. And we also want to give it a size, okay? Width is gonna be 100% of its parent. And the height, the same thing, okay? Height, 100% of its parent. And, and down here, from the left let's position this one okay from the left is gonna be zero okay and for the top after two different numbers i came across with this one minus 25 pixels okay depending on what you are doing you can come across with another number all right let's also apply a transition here it's gonna be dot for seconds and also linear okay we did it it looks like a ghost so let me show you what we just created okay border four pixels let's make it solid and yeah we have something like this we're gonna make some changes so it's gonna be like you saw in the beginning of the video okay let me delete this for now and let's come down here okay and let's create another hover effect it's gonna be two okay this one is gonna be style uh, scale so social media echo hover okay when you hover over the element okay something is gonna happen and what's gonna happen we're gonna have a transform scale and we are gonna decrease that to dot eight okay so let me show you I hover over and they decrease the sizes okay and now coming to the full part of the project okay it's gonna be our hover effect let's create that effect okay social media hover let's create their vertical lines here now okay social media uh, hover before and let's create those vertical lines okay two of them but the left and of course bottom right both of them are gonna have four pixels and are gonna be solid all right okay we just create them let me show you yeah 
It's nice, but that's not what we want. We can do more than that, okay? So let's transform and let's use skill, skill X to inclinate thing, okay? In 20 degrees, let me show you. Okay, much better. And after that, we're gonna put those ones on the top, all right? So let me come down here, right under this one. And here, let's create the top and bottom lines, okay? Social media, a hover after, okay? Remember, the first one was before and this is after. Let's do the same thing here. Let's create two borders, one border on the top with four pixels in solid and another one in the, guess what? The bottom, four pixels in solid. And let me show you, okay, here they are, it's not beautiful, but they are here. So let's transform them, okay, let's this time use skill Y, in Y direction, minus 20 degrees. We do that, and let me show you, yeah, we have our nice hover effect, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Very good, congratulations, you did it. Alright devs, you really did it together, I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. I would like to say here, thank you to my patrons, okay? Thank you very much, I really appreciate your support.